I'd like to speak at the beginning a little bit about how I came to my service because the service was my one of one of the best weapon. In '81, with my club, we went to Novi Sad for the World Championship, and this was the championship where I liked very much because the Chinese started with these high toss services and uh, I was a young girl and I liked this, how they made it. I came home and I started to practice this service with my father. These services w w became better and better, but not immediately. Minimum one year when the services was really so that I can make it on the matches. This is what I think uh, everybody, also coaches and the players, don't think how long it takes to learn a service and how patient you need and practicing one service if you want to be really good with one service to do. And after that, when my service was better, I got a shock because when I made on the match and some services were so good it didn't come back, but the services what was coming back, I couldn't play the next ball. I like to play with the spin, to make spin on the balls. And my services got more and more rotation and also more and more quickness. And the ball was coming back. I didn't know what to do with this, this ball because the spin was coming back to me. What can I do? Should I stop with the service to practice because it's, it, it was not so good? And it was quite depressing that I couldn't make the point if the other one bring back the service. So after that, I was not just practicing my service. I was also practicing with one guy who was the son of my coach. And he was staying with me every day after the practice. And he was receiving my service that I can practice also how I can play after my service. It's not so easy to play after a good service. And, and this is the next step to learn and to practice a service, how I play after my service. And which service is good for me? Which service is good for my, my play? Which side I can make good? How I can place my service? After about my services, I, I was really good and uh, also the first ball, this was my second weapon. I'd like to, to demonstrate now the four basic services, what I think is important in table tennis. The first, I would say, it's a fast, long service. It's very important that uh, touch the ball from behind, it's quite low and quite close to the table that the ball can going fast forward. It's very important that I have a good position for the service. It means that the shoulder is quite down and I have the place in front of my stomach to touch the ball. Then it makes sure the shoulder that I don't touch the ball too far away from my body. I must touch the ball behind try to get the ball quite close here on my side that it's tipping, then I can manage a long service, fast long service. The coaches are a very big mistake with the service. I think the coach is thinking that the player must learn the service. They are, they are showing about the club coaches, the club must, uh, must uh, learn the, the children the service when they are in national team. They expect already from the player that you must, you must know this service. But I think this is not like this. The coaches are responsible for the players, that they learn the service because to practice the service there are three problems. The first problems, I'm, unfortunately I must tell this, the balls. Not every player has enough balls or every club or I can tell now also that if everybody wants to practice service this, this afternoon, it's not possible. Second problem, it's boring, very, very boring. 
to if I let my player alone in the hall, he will not or she will not do the service because it's boring. As a coach, I must stay there or make it somehow interesting. We cannot expect from a 12 years old or 13, 15 here, the oldest I think, that they have fun on practicing service. This is the coach task to make them like to practice service. Of course, every player is something else. Not everybody will be a good server. I know this, but there is a, a minimum what every player, I think, in this level must know about service. And this basic services is very important. This is, I think, fast service, side spin service, cut service, and without no spin service. These four services that they know how to touch the ball, where I must touch the ball, how I get spin in the ball, because I'm sorry, I, I met many players who they, they have absolutely no idea how I can make a spin in the ball. This is very, very bad, I think, because uh, in table tennis, we start with the service. We start with the service and, and this is something what you can practice alone. But, of course, you, the, the players need the help from the coaches, that, that they understand why we must make the service and how we should make the service. The third thing is, a good service is hurting a lot. It's hurting in the stomach. Many players, when I'm practicing service because they want to have good service, then I tell them, come on, make the service faster and, and better. Then they make one good one, and it's really good service. Then I tell, oh, that was good. Then it's say, oh, but it was very much pain. I don't want to do again. <laughs> so I put also all the time towel to my stomach that uh, it's not hurting so much because it's really hurting. So now totally side spin. I try to touch the ball on the side, totally on the side. Maybe it will be a little bit also down. But if you want to make a side spin, then you must try to turn the ball from the side. Maybe we start about how we, we take the racket. Uh, backhand service, normal because it's a, not a problem. But forehand service, it's better if we take the racket similar like the penhole player because the penhole player is the most best server. And then if we took the racket with two fingers and then the other three is just holding the racket and helping, but then we can make with the racket quite good spin. But of course, it's not the rules. Every player is something else. I just tell how you can make maybe better. I don't know, maybe Eva knows the English word for ausholung. Ausholen. I'm thinking... Yeah, preparation, but it's not really the same. In Hungarian, we also don't have a good word for uh -huh. it. German has a good word for it, this ausholung. That you must make a really good, this backswing, that you can make the fastness from behind. Because if you make a short movement, you will not get fastness. You need a little bit to raise your hand speedness, that, that you get speed in the ball. And then the next very important, and I saw IDTF Hope's team, the young ones, almost all, they touch the ball too far from the body. This is a big problem that I also see in Germany with many players. You must touch the ball very near to the body as near as it possible and it's also very important that your shoulder that the standing is really front i was thinking that they are quite not so tall now that's why they don't go forward with the shoulder and maybe that's why it's coming that it's so far the touch from the from the body and it's not possible to make a good service 
I think. And, and this is what the coaches also must take care of, that uh, this back swing then touch the ball near to the body. Then also that it's, it's the touching must be where the table, not higher. And also this backswing is all the time important. It doesn't matter if you make long service, half long service or short service. The difference is where I stop my hand. Long service, I make a little longer the movement, half long, a little bit shorter. And the short one, I must immediately stop fast after the touch the ball. But the backswing must be, as I told, it's not a rule. Everybody is another personality. Somebody managed the service without maybe not so much backswing or touch the ball 20 centimeter in front. But it's my experience. It's the best way how you can make a good service. And when you are on the good way and on the right way, if you touch the ball like this. The next basic service, I would say, it's a dance spin service. It's very important, the dance spin service, that you touch the ball very fast under and very thin. Then you get very much down spin in the ball. And also it's everything near to the table, that the ball is not tipping too high, and also near to the stomach. That I try to touch the ball totally under. The ball is not turning. The ball is just a simple service without any rotation. I try to make without spin, that the ball I just touch from behind and I try not to give any spin. I must take care that the ball is low. If it's a dead ball is high, it's very easy for the opponent. With the down spin service, I try to make as fast as possible to touch the ball under and very thin, that I get much spin inside. Without spin, I try to touch the ball from behind and just with feeling to catching the ball, just that it's, it's going on the other side. I must manage to touch the ball both times very fast, then the opponent doesn't see immediately if there is down spin or no spin. Spinny one, this is with spin and this without. The other thing what is very important, where the ball is tipping on my side. If I want to make a long service, it's obvious that, it's <coughs> that it must be close to me on my side. And the short one is also not too much front. If I want that the ball is tipping forward and not upward, then it must be about the half and then can go over over the net and then can tip on the other side very fast that the opponent doesn't have so much time to receive if the player learning this where i must where is my service must tipping on my side it's easier to receiving the player can see how the other one touching the ball where is the ball touching and can react much faster and much better also for me it's very important also that the players are practicing the double service i i don't think it's it's uh, not uh, so many players making this but it's also another standing from the other side and this is everything is good for your hand for your feeling if you are also practicing a little bit also not least for your double if you play if you have a good double partner then you can make also the double better if if the services are better the other thing what uh, is a big problem that they but it's more the women or the girls they don't use the place place from the table that they cannot place the service as they want but it's it's everything just practicing so it's it's again I, the task from the coaches to put them, come on, <clears throat> you must practice also to this side or, or there. It was also with my player, with Nicoletta Stefanova. When I came to Italy, she had already a very good service. She was already European champion. 
and she was left-handed, very good service. But I saw that she doesn't make the service everywhere where she can make with the left hand. I was fighting with her two years because she hated the practice. It was boring. I all the time had to stay with her. She, is, she started all the time talking. It was really a big fight till I find out, okay, I made some stones and I told, okay, you must, you must touch this stone 10 times with one service. From this point, she, she started to like the service because she all the time wanted to touch the bones and asking me smaller stone, smaller stone, please put me there. And this was then fun for her. From this time, I didn't have any problem, but it was two years really fight with her till she wanted to make the service also alone. So I, I know it's not easy and it's a very hard job for a coach because also for the coach is boring and if you see the, the player really terrible servicing and it's not coming but in Europe and all the other continent that this is something where it's very easy to be better and it's individual and and really this is one uh, point where you can make a very good gap and very fast can be your player. <laughs>